So welcome to the problem session. I'll open the rooms here in a couple minutes. Uh, before I do that, I just want to go through the submission that's next week, the end of next week, your formative feedback submission, and then the practice quiz and that you'll need to do before you attempt the exam number two after the Easter break. Um, the practice quiz will go live later today. I just need to finish putting some final data points into the description before I do it, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's a multiple choice qu quiz that you can take as many times as you want um, to practice the amount of time you have, getting your answers quickly, to come, become familiar with the types of questions that you'll do. Um, I will say the practice quiz is harder than the actual exam. So the fact that you sweat through it is actually a good thing. But first one is D.7, the sizing performance tool submission. Remember, this is a formative assessment. In here, you will submit your tool source code. Um, you can do that either as a zip file or as individual MATLAB, MATM files or the like, um, uh, or MATLAB uh, notebook. Um, instructions on how to use that tool so that we can do it. And if you want specific areas of feedback, there are questions you have, areas that you're struggling with, um, please include a, um, you know, a, a text file with those questions um, and we'll try to focus on them. We can't give you feedback on every question necessarily. It's just the time allotted. We're gonna spend about five minutes on each person's tool, giving feedback and looking through it against the referenced aircraft. Uh, make sure your reference aircraft are included and it's easy to, to access them. Um, you can submit as many copies as you want, but we're only going to give you feedback on the last submission. So when you go into that and you click on that, you get all of that and you can upload your files and, and the like. Um, the other one, and this one is invisible to you all, but will show up shortly, um, is the in uh, under exam number two is the practice quiz. And there'll be a table here that will give you the properties that are independent of your aircraft. So things like what you should use for uh, takeoff as a, you know, as a fuel fraction for your takeoff segment and those things, the non-calculated segments, if there is a range credit, what you should use for the range credit, all of that information. It's actually all the same information that you're given for your reference aircraft. So don't worry about that, but it's the same format that you'll see for the final quiz. So you'll have a chance to look at that, get ready, get all that information in before you do that. Um, and then once you click, you start, you have 45 minutes on this practice quiz. Don't worry, if you run out of time, it will let you go, but it just tells you if you're doing it in the amount of time. And then when you click begin, the quiz comes up and it's random order of questions. So everybody will get a different random order. The questions are all the same for everybody and a random order of answers. It is multiple choice. Um, and once you submit, you'll be able to see whether or not you got the question right and feedback on that question. You will not necessarily see the correct answer, um, so you'll have to do it again. Um, again, you'll always get the same questions, and I actually think you may get them in the same order as you do them again. You're welcome to do it as many times as you want, but you have to attempt it at least once to enable the actual exam. That exam will go live at 9 a.m. on Monday the week commencing, I believe it's the 19th of April, and will close at 6 p.m. on that Friday, as according to the uh, uh, according to the coursework um, week by week activities. Uh, so, exam number two in week nine. So it will close at, at Friday at 6 p.m. So you'll have that week to do it. Um, and you, it will, you can take any time you want. Obviously, once you start it, the timer starts running and uh, it will close out at its time. Okay, so that's just the quick overview of the two upcoming things. Today, you're gonna be working on your uh, sizing analysis, your constraints analysis, choosing your design point and anchoring that in. Next week is the kind of conversion week where you finish up your tool to submit it and you start your configuration design and and the like. So you're starting to actually design stuff in anger with your aircraft. Keep in mind, you may want to revise your design once you get feedback on your tool, but it gives you a starting point. Okay. I am going to pause the recording here. Um, if, but if anybody has any questions, ask them in the chat. Uh, no, you do not submit milestone five. It is a milestone for you, um, but you submit D7, which is the outcome of that milestone. Okay. 
Okay, I will open the breakout rooms. Uh, yes, tool submission is individual. Submit your own tool. We're not judging you if you submit someone else's tool. We don't have any of that, but you need to know your own tool for the feedback because that's only meaningful if it's your own and you need to be able to use your own tool and know it for the quiz. Um, does the constraints analysis, yes, it's one, it's one tool that does the performance stuff from last semester, the uh, weight estimation, initial weight estimation, and the sizing, which is the constraints analysis is what we call sizing. It sizes the wing, it sizes your engines. That's one, one tool that does that. It can be many function calls and, and the like. Um, don't worry if something isn't working. Be honest about what's not working. Um, you're not getting marked on it. What you need to figure out after, as you do the quiz is can you get the answers you need to the quiz and the answers you need for your aircraft in, in real order. If your charts aren't coming out right, you have plenty of time to fix that. The only time we're going to ask you to submit a constraints chart is with your configuration design report. Okay. I'm opening all the breakout rooms uh, now so you can join them. Uh, the GTAs will be coming around. If you have any questions, you can summon me. Cheers.